Hi, my name is Dima. I'm a third year student on graphic design and multimedia art, and today I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide how to apply for new media art studies here at PJIT. This process is very easy and consists of four main steps, registration, portfolio, interview, and results. From the PJIT website, you click the apply button that takes you to the enrollment portal. Here, you need to create your personal account. You will receive a confirmation email that will let you proceed with the registration. Here, you choose the specialization you're interested in. Be sure to check whether what you selected is bachelor's or master's, whether it's full-time or part-time, and whether your studies are in Polish or English. Next, you need to provide some general information about yourself. You don't have to upload the photo right away. After submitting all the documents, your account is officially created, and now you can sign up for an interview. Next, before the interview, you need to prepare your portfolio. Let's make sure that you know what the requirements are. Five still life drawings, five still life paintings, five human figure drawings, and five landscape paintings. The preferred format for these works is 100 by 70 centimeters, but 50 by 70 is also allowed. Then you should have 10 photographs of different kinds, portraits, landscapes, or abstract compositions. The point of these photographs is to show your creativity and artistic vision. After these obligatory requirements, you should include your personal works, sketches from your sketchbook, 3D models, photos of your sculptures, video recordings of your dance performances, etc. All the works are very important, and they will help the teachers understand you better as an artist. Now that you are registered on the website and you know what your portfolio should look like, it's time to choose. Online or in-person interview. Online interview is recommended only for those who cannot be physically present for an in-person interview. For example, candidates from outside of Poland. Let me show you how you can sign up for an interview. In the list of the available time slots, you have the option for both stationary and online interviews. Keep in mind that in order to choose an online interview, you need to provide your Gmail address, as these interviews are held on Google Meets. Also, keep in mind that you need to provide a proof of payment for the interview before it happens. Other documents, like the photo of the passport, application form, etc., can be submitted gradually over time. If you choose an online interview, remember, you need to send your portfolio as a single PDF file to the email address at least three working days before the exam itself, so that the commission has time to review it. On the day of the interview, you will receive an email from the professor with the time of your interview. In case of any delay, you will be notified. If you choose to go in person, on the day of the interview, you should bring your portfolio to the academy. However, at first, you should go to the admission office to be guided where your review is gonna take place. Let me show you where it is located. Here, we're going to ask the head of the admission office some important questions. Candidates who are in Poland, they must come here personally to take part in the exam. So uh, about one hour before the interview date, they must come here. We put them into our list of the participants and then we explain where to go to join the interview. Maximum two working days, but most often is the day after the interview. So, for example, if you have the interview on Monday, so you should receive it until Tuesday. Yes, they can show us after the admission. Well, especially for foreigners who, who are outside, we accept the scans, but later in October, when the class is started, they must show us the, the high school diploma, the, some other documents. We only compare with the scans, which was uploaded earlier, and uh, give it back. But we must see the original for one minute, yes. In this section, we would like to simulate what an in-person interview looks like and talk to our art professor so she can answer some of the questions. First of all, do you speak English? Can we communicate with you? Can we make a conversation, a meaningful conversation with you on the topics of task, of assignments, of your concept, of your ideas? Actually, the questions during the interview uh, are uh, usually very open that allow the candidates to talk and talk to us. 
talk to us and say everything that we, you know, everything that you're interested in, because we are interested in who you are, what you do, why you want to be a graphic designer, what you want to do in life, what do you need, what are your interests, what are you fascinated uh, with. Another thing that we're looking for during the interview is, do you know anything about design? Can they speak about art? Are they really interested in art? During the interviews there are uh, usually a lot of open questions like what kind of design you're interested in or who's your favorite designer or who uh, is your favorite artist. It's less checking the knowledge of, of history of art and more about giving an opening so that the candidates can talk about things that they are confident in. And then when we, you know, you call up on uh, some, some names that, that uh, we know, we can have a really meaningful conversation. If we can describe somebody's design or somebody's art, if we can give it a proper vocabulary, then we can imagine what fascinates you. Definitely. Our uh, requirements for the portfolio are composed as basics. We cannot require from our candidates to bring anything else. But the people do bring it, and this is what we want to see. Relax. People in the, in, in the jury are really very friendly. One of the factors that uh, they are there is that they want to get to know you. So. Uh, Speak about yourself openly. Show us what you got. Show us what you what, what you have. We are not judging you. We are uh, wondering uh, what we can do for you when you become a student. Are there any uh, possibilities for you to study with us? You know, when we are uh, reviewing the portfolios, we are thinking about it, like how you're going to find yourself in that uh, in our environment. Yeah. Okay, now that the difficult part is over, you should wait for the results of your interview. As mentioned earlier, it takes up to two working days for the results to be sent to your email address. From there, there are two possible outcomes. You're either accepted or rejected. If you are accepted, congratulations. Now you need to wait for further emails from the admission office. They will notify you if they need any extra documents from you, and after that, they will request you to sign the contract. You send them back the scan of the signed document, proof of the payment for studies, and wait till the beginning of the academic year. In case of rejection, don't be sad. You can still apply for a later interview on the same application term. Or you can join the Zero course. This program is designed to prepare candidates for the entrance exam and familiarize them with the first year program of studies at PJIT. Scan the QR code and check all the details on our website. Now let's talk to our first year students and hear what they have to say about their experiences with uh, interviews and studying on graphic design and multimedia art. It was actually not so stressful. I was At first I was stressed, but then the teachers are, were really helpful and they were not judging you when you're just showing your portfolio and also it was nice. I would say don't leave it till last minute and just do it as soon, start it as soon as you can. Everything is really fun and the thing that I like the most about university is like they teach you how to be creative and they don't judge you. It's really funny because I have a lot of friends here and the people I met are just brilliant. They're ex they are inspired me to do a lot of creative stuff and they don't judge you, I would say. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Good luck and see you at PJIT.